Hey again. Well, I'm just walking down uh, the descent into Fontana Dam Village. And uh, hopefully when I get there, I can get some of this footage that I've been taking and uh, get it uh, out to you guys. So the last time I spoke, I think uh, I was at a campground waiting to go into the NOC to take a shower, wash some clothes and whatnot. We had some breakfast there and uh, we kind of just blew through there and hiked another three days, three nights, and uh, now we're heading down into town. But I want to answer a couple questions real quick before I put this out there. Rich, Rich from East Hartford, Connecticut asked me, uh, hey, what are the, some of the things that you, you changed up since you started or what was different from when you're planning? Well, first of all, just like 90% uh, of us, we, uh, I came with a little bit too much stuff, so I, I bounced a few things forward so I wouldn't have to climb, such as my, uh, my mattress, my air mattress, because I know I'm going to need that in the uh, Smokies. They uh, have a rule over there that you have to use the shelters. So I bounced that forward. I picked it up at the NOC. Those of you who are planning a hike, uh, you're planning on using the NOC as a drop area it's a good spot to drop to because their resupply isn't very good but it's a pain in the ass if you want to move your stuff forward uh, you got to bring it to this building and then if it's too heavy you got to bring it to that building and then out to the shipping and receiving get a piece of paper bring it back to the desk pay for it and then if everything goes right they don't even know if it'll make uh, Fontana Dam by the time you get there in three days so Plan wisely over there. It is expensive stop. Cost 20 bucks for some uh, scrambled eggs, but the coffee was good. Uh, also, uh, had some questions on my pack. I'm using the Osprey uh, 65 liter Atmos, and uh, so far it's been good holding up. By anything bigger than that, I think would be too much because I can tie my thing right down, uh, pull a cinch. And, uh, and I'm sure I have a few things that I don't need in there. Uh, you're going to need something to carry your water bottle. It's impossible unless you're double jointed to get your water bottle out of these things. It won't fall out, that's for sure. But but you can't get it on the hoof. You're going to have to ask, ask somebody to uh, help you out or, or take your whole pack off. My pack's now about a month old and it looks like it's about 10 years old. So they... Don't, don't try to get something pretty. Every time you set it down in this mud and stuff, it gets dirty. And uh, that's just the way it is. So listen, uh, enjoy the next couple pieces of video. I'm going to uh, sign off before I trip and bust my butt like that. And uh, enjoy. Hey, so here we are Sunday morning. We just all had breakfast and uh, packed up after a day off in town. And we're on a bus with Ron Haven and we're heading back to the trail. Say hi to everybody. Hey! Hey, <laughs> hey Ron, say hi. Hello, everyone. I hope you have a fun day. It's warm enough today, or supposed to. <laughs> all right, so we're off. My the weather's finally nice. We're out. Here we are in one of the most beautiful areas that I've seen since I started hiking. This is called Silas Bald in North Carolina. We're about 5,200 feet up. It's a little bit off the trail by about uh, you know, a third of a mile or so. But as you can see, this, the scenery is spectacular. I'm gonna try to go a little slower Awesome.
Man, oh man, if this doesn't make you believe in a higher power, nothing will. Five minutes ago, I was huffing and puffing, snots down in my belt. You get to the top of the mountain, it all goes away. I'm really glad I get to show you guys this. Hey, good morning everybody. I got a treat for you today. Last night, Dusty and I came down the mountain and we camped in this nice little picnic area, probably trespassing. But uh, after we got set up, we got a group of uh, people rolled in and I'm gonna introduce you. First of all, this group is a group of youths that all live in Ohio. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi. No, say hi like you mean it. <laughs> hi. 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 Great day. They're all from Ohio. They're mostly youths with their, uh, what would you call yourself, leaders? or uh, With their leaders, and they do adventure trips. Every year they do a trip. This is uh, their fifth time on the Appalachian? Our fourth time on the Appalachian Fourth trail. time. It started in 2012. <laughs> the fourth time on their uh, Appalachian trip. They, do, they bite off a piece every year, trying to get them in the background. And uh, they also do bike trips. They bike from the west coast of Ohio, from, the, from Ohio to the east coast. They climb mountains. And uh, it's a bunch of youths. I want to go around and introduce you guys, if you don't mind. If you guys have warrants, or if you're escapees from uh, institutions, then you don't have to be on film. First of all, this is, are you the main leader of this group? Yes. So you're wholly responsible for all their actions? Uh, I think so. <laughs> okay. What's your name? Uh, I'm Larry Lindsay, and I've been doing this for a long time. Nice but I'm you. only 39 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Larry. <laughs> I'm Haider Bin Hamid, and... Um, I'm in the group six years, and I stayed dry last night. <laughs> yeah, it was just just for you guys watching at home. It was a crazy night. It was rainy, thunder, lightning, wind, real wrath of God stuff. And all these kids are troopers. They're all independent. They they do have uh, their leaders here, but I watched them all, and they cook their own suppers and they put up their own tents. And I got to give you guys a lot of credit. So, what's your name? Uh, I'm Carl Ludwig. This is my fourth year in the group. Hi, Carl. Uh, and. I have a brother along with me for the first time. Is this, this your year. brother to your right? Yep. First time. Well, Who are you? Old. I'm Kevin Ludwig, and this is my first year doing How old are you? How old are you? Cool. How old are you? Eleven. 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 Awesome. This is our future. <coughs> our future is here. I'm, I, the more kids I meet out here on the trail, the better I feel about our country's future. What's your name? Uh, my name is Elric Nijakowski. Is that French? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hi, my name is Isaac Nijakowski. I'm 12 years old and this is my first time. Awesome. April Nijakowski, 15. I don't know how many times I've been up here. You've been, well, you've been here a few times, huh? Yeah. Hey, my name is Tim. I, I brought three of my boys with me. We're from Cincinnati, Ohio. Your last name, Nijakowski? Nijakowski. Nice Nijikowski. to see you all. Did I miss anybody? Oh yeah, oh, we yeah. got the, gotta get the old guy. Gotta get the old guy. He only he don't look that. He's old. only thirty nine. That makes me the oldest. And who are you? <laughs> Steve Hen, Oak hey, Harbor, Steve. Ohio. Steve's the first one I met. Uh, Dusty and I were set up in camp. And Steve rolled in, checked us out, make sure we weren't going to be a threat to the kids. And uh, yeah. once he determined we were all right, he gave the yeah. green light, and they all came out of the woods and they were dropping out of the trees <laughs> and stuff. So hey guys, That's really nice. good to meet you. You have a good trip. You guys have a good trip. Let's say uh, say goodbye to all the YouTube viewers out there. All right. Yeah. Signing all right. off. Good luck on your hike. All right. One last uh, goodbye to the Naturalist Scouts from Ohio. I'm just going to give let them all say goodbye as they walk off. They're heading north. And uh, say goodbye, guys. Bye. All right. Go on. Head on out. Say goodbye, guys. See you, yeah. See ya. See ya. See ya. Thanks. Take the picture. Good hiking, sir. All right. Have a nice trip, guys. And here's Dusty. Goodbye, Sam. No, you're not going anywhere. You got <laughs> too much food in your pack. I'm not letting you go anywhere. Hey, so here's a nice view. We're at the Wyla 
tower somewhere in the mountains. We walked all day through the woods. We didn't even see anybody. But we pop out on top of this mountain and there's a beautiful stone structure. And look down below. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Some of the other through hikers that are stopping and catch some of the sun. It was a cold, nasty, rainy night. It's awesome up here in the sunshine. We're drying out our clothes and uh, look at the view. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. So after the week we had last week with the cold and the rain and the snow, this week the gods have been good to us. I just climbed up the top of Wesser Ball Tower and look at the view. 365, 370 degrees, 400 degrees. And up here we have some day hikers and we have some through hikers. What's your name? Angie. Angie? Angie from where? Mississippi. Mississippi. <laughs> and what's, who's this? Oh, that's Blue. Hey, Blue. Hey. <laughs> Come here. This is Blue. I don't know if I can get Blue. There's Blue. <laughs> and we're catching somebody in the act of vandalism. <laughs> fireball fireball from from virginia virginia you saw her at the last tower she was down below waving to us when we were up top how about you folks nick and candy from charleston hey nick and candy from charleston can you see yourself in there yeah, yeah. cool <laughs> and over there you see sitting down trying to figure out his camera is, is once again dusty today he's dusty in the wind because it's a little breezy up here so there you go folks Another beautiful view. I'm gonna go around nice and slow again. And if you look way down there, you can see all sorts of civilization. Funny thing about this is you walk for hours in the woods, you can't see anything. Dusty says, hey, look up, and there's a fire tower. And oh, I don't know if you could see it, but way out there, is all the lakes that were, were uh, created for uh, by a dam for the water supply of this whole area. So uh, once again, we're signing off. Hey everybody, so uh, it's been a long day. We, the weather was beautiful. I was so, we were so happy. We saw some really beautiful sights today. Put in about 13 miles and we we're at a, uh, a camping area where there's a shelter and uh, a bunch of people are uh, holed up here. We're all waiting to go into town, which is about a mile away. You can see all around, there's tents set way up on the hill, close by. Hey guys, say hi. Hey, hey say hi everybody. Hello. In back of me, you can see there's a stream. Everybody's getting their cold water. Guys, what's, what's up? up? What's up? So uh, let's go around, see, so, see some of the people that are uh, chilling out tonight. You saw me. You saw me. We <laughs> already met you, go ahead. Yeah. Fireball. That's Fireball. Who are you? I'm Parks. Hey Parks, you guys can tell us where you're from too. Uh, lightning. Lightning? Fireball. Can you see yourself in here? <laughs> yeah. Lightning and fireball. Yeah. Where are you guys Virginia. from? Virginia. Virginia. Oh, that's me. Smoke screen, Buffalo. Smoke screen wow. from Buffalo. Wolf pack from Arkansas. Arkansas. Holy oh, wow. shit. Cobb, South Carolina. South Carolina. We saw him over at the uh, at the breakfast the other morning. Pokey, Florida. Pokey from Florida. Hey guys, you want to say hi? Who are you? I'm Yeti, I'm from Tennessee. Yeti from Tennessee. I'm Steam Machine, I'm from Germany. Steam Machine. Still Phil from Germany. Still Phil. <laughs> Be careful, man. From Germany. <laughs> Amish from Tampa, Florida. Wow, I wonder where you got your name. <laughs> Blackout from St. Louis, Missouri. Hey girls, you wanna say hi? Sure, hi. Where are you from and who are you? I'm Wistful and I'm from Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. Relentless. They've been hiking hard. I've been with them for the last few days and bumping into you guys. Saw you guys in town. Hey guys, up on the hill. Say hi to YouTube, everybody in America. Well, that's a little bit of what we got going on here. We're all looking forward to getting into town, taking some showers, washing our clothes, maybe getting some food, some real food, maybe even drinking a beer. Until then, we're out.
So we just made it to Fontana Village. We came out at the, uh, I don't know, there's a road over there. We got a ride from some maintenance guy that's gonna bring us into town. He works here at the uh, park. There you see Colt 45 up top. This is TK. And we're making our way to the village so we can uh, do some laundry and uh, wash our you-know-what.